goofy historians is the funnest place to learn about history? Or is it the funniest? Can I uh, interview you? Or you? Or uh, you? Or you? Or maybe you guys. How about you? There was a man called Constantine, and God told Constantine to basically beat the shit out of all of his enemies, right, and take over the Roman Empire. Right? And he says, and he put the sign in the sky saying, in this sign you will conquer, right? So no more turning the other cheek. This was a militant Christianity. And so he took over, you know, he, he actually won, right? And he, and he his, his, the, uh, the person he was competing with for to be the Roman Empire, uh, Extantius, I think, he, you know, he cut off his head, put it on a pole, paraded it around Rome, you know, when he went to, you know, Maxentius's, you know, villa where he was living at in Rome when he was pretending to be the, the, the emperor. And he built St. Peter's Basilica, right? That was about 315. And he said, this is the church. And he, this was supposedly where Peter had been crucified, right? Upside down, you know, in this spot. And they built this church. Uh, and at that, that time, you know, the, you, you would think that, you know, I, I don't know, Constantine thought he could unite the empire if it became Christian. Um, it didn't work. You know, it actually fell altogether within 100 years of Constantine. It started to fall in 475. It actually did fall. And the barbarian hordes, hordes came, the, the Goths, the Vandals, the Huns, the Magyars came, uh, and Rome fell. Goofy Historians is the funnest place to learn about history. Or is it the funniest? Does history repeat itself? Eh, not really. But sometimes it kind of rhymes. <laughs>